Keith, your your assessment of that night for Ireland in Paris last night? Yeah, Bernard, I, I think, uh, like everybody, I think we, I looked around the team and I think everybody gave their all, everybody worked hard. It's just the endeavour, that little bit of guile, that little bit of class we need to open teams up. There was once or twice when we won the ball and you're thinking we need it, we need a sharp pass forward here, we need to play through the lines because the French juggler was shown at times when he did lose the ball, but a forced pass is often backwards and sideways, which allows the French to get back into a very, a, 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 their defensive block. And they haven't conceded a goal so far in the European qualifiers, so it was always going to be a really uphill battle. We knew that man there, Mbappe, was going to be going to be tricky to try and defend. But Dembele on the other wing was absolutely brilliant. Gave Enda Stevens a, a nightmare of a night, and then obviously uh, we we changed the left back. Uh, McLean comes on, and again it's the same thing. Dembele just running past him for fun, time and time again. Don't get me wrong, Tuchemani's goal is brilliant. It's a brilliant, brilliant goal. That can happen. I'm more disappointed with the start to the second half. You know, Stephen Kenny saying, "Stay in the game, lads." Don't give them out and stay in the game uh, until the last 20 minutes as we're coming down the home straight. It's a brilliant, brilliant finish. But we, it's the, as I say, sorry, Ben, it's the start of the second half. It was just too sloppy and we do it time and time again. It's a red zone. As we start the second half, we need to put them under pressure. We have to start really, really high tempo. And towards the end of it, it was 2-0. I thought the French had maybe gone down to the third gear and they looked like they were in energy, energy saving mode. And yeah, look at it. Again, it's the same old stuff with the Irish. We we give us a bit of hope, but you know, again, it's another loss and leaves a sour taste in the mouth.